Hello guys and you're very welcome back to the channel and our one to one series is back with an absolute bang for season two and our first guest today guys is Mally Davis. Mally Davis is an Englishman and he owns and created Let's Create. Let's Create is an online forum, a hub so to speak for Facebook where a load of photographers which could boast over 1500 talk about gear, advice and it's an absolute great resource to go in and find about more about photography and find out more about yourself so you can grow and you can learn more and more and more. He also went away and created his own podcast and uh, he just started it and he's off to an absolute banger of a start. So let's head into the lab and let's find out more about Mally. And you're very welcome to the one to one series season two we are back into season two and it's so exciting and i'd like to introduce you to my first international guest a wee man from a wee village the whole way across the pond in england mr maddie davies how are you keeping buddy it's all right i'm belting ah, doing you're good to belting. see you mr dodd good to see you well, Likewise, man, it's been a minute for sure, and I kind of missed your lovely face. <laughs> it's a bit rounder. I've got I've got but the lockdown moon going on. <laughs> Pasties but it's and cute and cuddly. You know, cute oh, and cuddly. I, I, I tell you, buddy, I look after you, don't I? You do, you do indeed. Brilliant, brilliant. So, will we crack on with this uh, one-to-one -one series and let's get to know more about you? Oof, it's risky. So, I just felt like your, your listeners know I've not rehearsed any answers, so this is this is going to be waxing lyrical. <laughs> Dodgy. I already know where we're going to go with this one today. Oh, aye. All right, so, all right, so, Matty. So, for those who don't know who Matty Davies is, who is Matty? I've, do you know, I've been asking myself that question for a very long time. <laughs> I'm a, uh, as he said, I'm a, a little guy from a little town, originally from a place where they speak yik. I'm a yicker, born and bred. What, what, pause already. We're pausing already. What is yik? Yik is that like a Chinese, a Chinese a food or something? You see, where I am between Manchester and Liverpool, people they, they say you're one or the other. But Haydock, okay. Haydock is quite an old place and they speak very broad. Hence, Sithy. Now, a lot of Yorkshire folks say, you're stealing that, because that's Yorkshire, but it's actually been with me since I was a, a little lad. My granddad was Reet Broad. He, he spoke, like, you know, about galloping abdabs and all kinds. He, he, he used to make nip bone. If anyone knows what nip bone is, you're doing all right, because he, he was like a healer. <laughs> He made things from nettles. He made nettle pop and all that. So that's that's where Whoa. I'm from. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He was. He made a lot of different portions, poultices for, you know, bad breaks of the arm. Or uh, he was crazy, yeah. my granddad. Yeah. So that's can't part you, of. Can't you drink nettle soup as well? If I'm yes, not correct. Ne I am yes, correct, don't yeah, yeah. That's nettle soup, nettle pop. Mm. Oh, you stink oh. though, because he was. He used to boil the nettles for for hours and hours and the smell yeah. was rank yeah yeah and did so, it taste good oh it was beautiful gorgeous <laughs> yeah ice cold <laughs> oh yeah really good oh uh, my god i reckon that's why i am the way i am but maybe, it is maybe it is the way i am the way i am for photography because you say who is mally davis well mally davis was brought up in nature not like grizzly grizzly adams or anything but <laughs> I was always out with my granddad fishing for perch, roach. We'd go and walk through, you know, forest and woodland. We'd go all over the place. And I think that's where a lot of me comes from and joins okay. to the photography. So whereabouts do you reside? Like, where is Mally living right now? I'm, I'm now northwest of England. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. It's too many stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are out there. They are they out there. They all want for to come sure, and get man. ratted with me, you know. So, uh, uh, <laughs> northwest, between Liverpool and Manchester, close to Liverpool a tree, my hill called Crank Hill. Yeah, Crank Hill. I like, yeah. I like the sound of that. That sounds pretty cool, man. Yeah, pretty it's a cool. cool place. Yeah. So, come here. Let's let's move on to the next question. Now, you say something about between Liverpool and Manchester. Now, they're football clubs for those people who don't know. Um, but look. Do you like sport? Like, I love basketball. I hope you like basketball. Do you like basketball? 
I don't think you can see it. On my top shelf, I've got a basketball. You yeah! Can't, you can't actually right. see it. Now, <laughs> I used to play a lot when I was younger, and I was a Did massive, you? yeah, Chicago Bulls fan. Uh, and, the, and the Knicks, and the Knicks as well. But everyone was a Chicago Bulls fan when he was a kid. <laughs> you know, I but, actually but, wasn't. Yeah, it, go on, who was your dad? Who was your... Phoenix Suns. I've loved oh, Phoenix Suns yeah, ever since right. I was a kid. I remember you yeah. saying now, yeah, Phoenix Suns, yeah. yeah. yeah I loved hard. it. I loved it. And, and I kind of, I used to watch Kingston a lot, English basketball. Um, right. I, I supported them as an English uh, team. And I just kind of just stopped watching it. But I still love That's it and shit. I still love playing it. Problem is, mm. Dodd, you're too far away. I've got no one to play with. No one else wants to play basketball. And when you see a guy like me with a big beard walking onto a court with a ball and there's like loads of kids, it's like, mm, yeah. Is, he, is this guy? That right here. Yeah, so I, I tend for not go much. I tap my, I've got two young girls and I'll tap them with me and we'll, we'll have a mess around. Brilliant. It's a good excuse for me to shoot some hoops then. Excellent. Delighted to hear it. Delighted to hear it. Hate so tell me, uh, <laughs> I, have, I hate it too, man. They keep throwing themselves on the floor. I don't know why. Anyway, but uh, come here. So, and to photography. Like, I love landscape photography. That's where I originated in photography. That's where I started, and that's my bread and butter. Now, I ventured off into other avenues and ended up making my business there also. But what get you into landscape photography? Why do you love it so much? Well, it. <laughs> It, the fulcrum's nature. I've mentioned this before. It's just getting out and being outside. But uh, I started with street photography at university, and mm. quite ab quite abstract. Um, I used to paint. I was a fine artist for about ten years. Uh, did a degree and everything, and and realised that I was going to be even poorer than I am <laughs> as a graphic designer. So I, I kind of left fine art. And sadly, photography behind and became a graphic designer to earn money and coin for, you know, family and everything. Yeah. And I've gone full circle where I've realised that what I should have been doing all these years was a camera in my hand. And any discipline, mm. I just love photography. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just something about it when you're out and open and like yeah. you can be with a team, you can be on your own. And I don't get me wrong, I love doing both of them, but... The best thing about it is when you're on your own, no one else around, and you're just immersed in this just beautiful world that we have right before us. And I know it sounds like a cliche and it sounds no. cheesy, but when you become one with your scene that you're in, it's yeah. just like even this morning, now, like I was up in, uh, I wouldn't call it a mountain, it's a big hill, and the sunrise was just, oh, it was immense. My foreground interest wasn't great. It was nothing to, to be screaming about, but the sky was just, it was on fire, dude. I mean, and I just got so excited. I even closed <laughs> my eyes for two minutes and I was like, this is just, it gave me a warm, fuzzy feeling. And that's what I love about landscape photography. And it's never the same thing. It's always yeah. something different. It is. And, and it's, and it, it, oh. It's where you're reaching for something as well. I, I, that's why I like a lot of what you do, Dodd, because although I'm not totally familiar with Ireland, I find you similar to me and Darren, our friend as well. You'll go to places <laughs> sure. that are unknown or you'll go yeah. to places where you'll find something that's unique. And and that's a big part of it for me is, is getting mm. to places where it's my angle or my take on it. Then the sun rises, sunsets. I, 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 yeah, we all love them, but just mm. to be out with the camera and just to be there, he's, he, he just can't yeah. beat it, can you? You know, it's no, it's no. awesome. It's just, and it's, I, I, yeah, I think just to be you in a unique place as well. You've just said you went up a hill. Is it a famous yeah. hill? Does anyone know no. this hill? Exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it is actually. It, it kind of is. Like, right. it wouldn't be known for photography in any way, shape, or form. No one photographs that's up it. there. It's just kind of out hikers, and that's it. Exactly. And th that's the best for me. And I think that's why I've really, I I've kind of got to know you a bit more online, mostly. But it's that mm. going somewhere unknown and finding something unique that I get a real buzz out of. Yeah, that for sure, for sure. Now, you mentioned our good old buddy, our mutual friend, Darren J. Spoonley. Absolute 
epic vlogger, really, Legend. really nice guy. Yeah. And he actually introduced the two of us. Why don't you tell people more about the first time we met? Where did we meet? Well, I was on one, like I normally am. Camera, <laughs> well, flying round. Where? Where was I flying round? The photography show, of course. <laughs> For sure. Just giving it loads of that vlogging. And Darren had told me he was coming, both of you was coming. I was like, oh, this is going to be good, this. And it was. <laughs> it was absolutely bonkers. Oh, this is Darren Spoonley. I thought, what are these two on? Um, <laughs> I thought I was barmate. It's like, whoa, whoa. And, then, and all these people are looking at me. We've all got cameras and we're all giving it yeah. this. And, it was great. I, I, I really enjoyed the end of the day as well because we met up after near the cafe. And I, yeah. I'm not saying I was feeling a bit deflated, but I had get me, me lens, uh, me sensor That's cleaned right. on my camera. And it'd been a long day and it was tiring. And I hadn't really thought I'd done a vlog. I wanted to do, I always want to do more anyway, Dodds there. Why don't you get mm. some B-roll? Why don't you just go over there and the next thing? We were both running around in circles. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh... And it was a good laugh. That last half an hour, an hour of the show made yeah. made it for me. You was you was <laughs> you and Darren a fantastic be around. Oh, really thanks, are. man. Thanks. I mean, like I absolutely loved it. Like we, like I said, we were just you know we'd never met each other in person. No, we're just kind of uh, you, you're, you're you're online friends. You know, you're talking with keyboard friends and all that. But when we met for the first time, man, it was like we've been best buddies for five years. You yeah, know, it was just yeah. instant energy between all of us. It was just amazing. I had the time of my life over there for the whole weekend. And it was natural. It wasn't put on. It wasn't because, no. oh, you know, you get these days where it's like, oh, yeah, he's got more subs or he's that. We just <laughs> hit it off. There was none of this, like, yeah. it, we just taught nonsense for us. It, it was love at first sight, man. I, I think it was love at first sight, you know? Well, m maybe for you. Can you tell I, a bit of I Gavin's think, yeah. rubbing off on me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was That's for you. Right. <laughs> you. You 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 had him on there recently on um, your Let's next create. create. So like yeah. you've built this empire, oh. literally an empire from a, a little <laughs> meeting group into yeah. this amazing online creation uh, forum for Facebook, and yeah. now you've evolved it to your vlogs, and now you've evolved it to a podcast. I mean, tell me yeah. more about this. Let's create. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just I love, love it. it. I just love photography. And then the idea of meetups was an accident. Uh, someone had posted on another forum, or uh, yeah, it was a forum back then, and also on Facebook saying, "I'm not happy with my camera club." They were struggling because what they wanted was experiences. They wanted to go out and okay. shoot. What they were finding, they were going to a camera club. It was very static and stuck it, indoors. It, it, yeah, it was quite insular and, and and they struggled quite a bit because they they weren't experienced photographers. And and to be fair, I wasn't a massive um, like landscape photographer at this point. I, I'd been doing it for quite some time, but poorly, very poorly. And you know? I I was finding my way and. I knew what I wanted. That's the thing. I knew what I wanted and where I was going and what I wanted to achieve. Mm. So when this was mentioned that they were happy, I was like, right, I'll make a group. And I didn't expect that this meetup group, because it was Mali Photography Meetups. I just thought, I'll do this on Facebook and it'll be like local people will come along, you know. Any road mm. was like... 15 people came to the first meetup and there was people from like That's pretty Der cool, mate. Derbyshire and Preston and there was some big faces as well, you know. Some some guys I think had just come for say, who's this guy? What's he doing here? You know? What's happening here? He's doing free meetups, free workshops. Can't be having that. And they rocked up for have a look. What's he doing? What's he doing? You know, and I ended up, we had a scream. We had a good laugh. I thought, I like this. Brilliant. And that was it, I like this, I'll do another one. And then that's how it happened, I started building a calendar. So we ended up, I think, the first year we did 20 meetups. Mm, yeah, about 20 meetups. And wow. they were local places, and I didn't vlog them all. And 
And I thought, right, I'll keep, I'll do this. I'll, I'll actually video them and I'll get the people who are coming along involved and, and kind of speak to folk who were with us. And then that became a thing where people were coming along because they thought, I can get for, you know, have a laugh, get on camera and, and buzz and get on YouTube and, and, and just have a laugh with Mally. Mm. And, and that was it. There was no more to it than let's just go meet up, take some pictures, camaraderie, and and have a laugh and get on a bit of one of his daft YouTube videos. And it was <laughs> it was going so well in the group, like you say, has grown and grown. Oh, and then that's fantastic. Last year, I'm not even going to mention it, but hopefully at some point this year, a Mali meetup will be back. Let's create meetups. Will be a calendar. Oh, will be starting Maddie. again. I'm coming over for one. I hope so. Oh, I'm <laughs> coming over for one of these meet Mally kind of group thing of me jigs. I mean, that sounds epic, man. Well, the but last like, one, had... the la- sorry, Dodd, the last one I'm just going to say, I don't brag very often, but I, I, I have to say this because I was absolutely buzzing. The, the, the bad thing was I didn't make any money out of it. If I had done, well, but it's not about money at mm. all. 25 people came to the last meetup before the shit storm happened. 25 Dude, people it, i just felt like the pied piper of photography it was wonderful there hey everybody come see how good i look you know <laughs> yeah. just like uh ron burgundy yeah. you know <laughs> i look good i mean really good hey everyone come and see how good i look <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh no that was brilliant yeah it was the most windiest horrific day up in the lake district it must have been That's 60 mile up. 60 mile an hour gust oh shit start again <laughs> cut, cut. we're leaving that one in oh right. that's staying in have a, si- have a sip of me brew ladies and gentlemen <laughs> do do i'll ask you another question so go on go on i'm so going on with with the, le- the let's create okay you evolved into a podcast and podcasting can be really fun, a, lo- a lot of fun. Uh, I have two years experience in podcasting. Aye. And you had a special guest on there this week. His name is uh, Gavin, I think Greg Snell call him Lard Castle. God <laughs> bless his soul. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like having Gavin on your uh, podcast? Oh. Was that an experience? Hello and welcome. So let's create the photography show. My first podcast. Well, second, because the first was just me saying I'm doing yeah. podcasts. Um, why did I do that? Why did I? It, balls deep. I thought if you're going <laughs> to do it, because I speak to Gavin a bit online, not much. I support him wholeheartedly. I think maybe there's been a mistake because I, I thought this was... Gary Goff. I thought I was going to get interviewed by Gary Goff. Oh, uh, oh, well. I, I would never have agreed to this. If, Gar- I thought Gary's you were just a, bit, a warm-up act. Gar- Gary's a bit taller than me. No. Well, I thought you were going to like do an intro for him, and then you'd, you'd disappear, and then Gary oh, would show up. Well, no, it's just, it's just me and you. <sighs> me and God you, bro. Sake, <laughs> well, let's just do it anyway, then, because like, you know, I've, I've brushed my teeth and everything, so we might as well just do it like yeah, yourself yeah. he's a superb talent he's a great photographer and he's a damn good laugh i thought do you know what 2021 let's do this let's do it For let's sure. create let's get gavin on and that was it let's create. just do it let's get him on let's see what he'll say you know and, and if i make a mess of it delete i just say so it's watch. not going yeah. out it's not going out gavin i've made a mess and it was really hard i was really nervous because he is okay. such a big figure, isn't he? Personality. Yeah. And and I didn't yeah. want it to be just mad laughing and joking, which it ended up it didn't. It, it was just flowing conversation. And, and then Gavin, he's so giving and, and likes to talk about himself. <laughs> it made it easy for me. And that was a pleasure because why not? I love listening to him. He's got a, he's got a lot of good things to say. He's a very interesting yeah. character. So he made it really easy for me. That first podcast was just uh, a dream. And I can't believe I'm doing it because I'm so broad. I'm so northern. And Gavin's Yorkshire as well. And he's still got his twang. And I thought, you know what? People are not going to get this at all. But so far, it's going down well. It, it, it's, it's, I'm really pleased with how good, it's been received. Good. People have been really polite, kind, and a lot of good comments. 
That's brilliant, man. That's, that, that's half the battle. And the rest of the half yeah. is as long as you enjoy it. You have to enjoy it. Yes. You know, but that's just me. That's just me. But no, come here. Right. Let us have some quick hit her questions for you. So if you could only do photography or be a content creator, which one would it be and why? Which type of photography? Whatever you want. Oh, if I be a photographer or a content creator, is that what you're asking? Because you're shit hot at both of them, so I want to oh, know th which one you'd have to choose. That's tough, you know, because I really enjoy, mm. I really enjoy being in the moment, uh, talking, getting the images. Yeah. Because, you know, a, a lot of my stuff, I, I don't take the image and then talk. I am doing it okay. at the same time. I, I'm, I'm in the moment and I'm recording uh, mm. everything. So I, mean, I make it difficult because I find that it excites me. So to, to say, <laughs> to pick one or the other, geez, it, I'd have to go with photography. I'd have to say oh, yeah. it would it would be with my heart would go with photography. But if it was for shits and biscuits, it would be content creator. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So in your vlogs and photography, use certain cameras, obviously, to get your content and get it out there uh what camera do you mainly use and what are the pros and cons of that camera well you you know this camera and you, you don't like this ca you don't like this brand <laughs> it's Ooh, a nikon that would have be right. a minolta is it <laughs> so the, there's me bit there's my baby. Oh that my was God. my baby. That was my first baby. No, well, not my first baby. My first baby actually was a D200 many oh years ago. And before that, I was Pentax. <laughs> Someone had to five me. Of you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved from Pentax. The oh, reason I started with Pentax, I used to shoot film at college. And it was mm. Zenith, Practica, and Pentax uh, SLR. Mm -hmm. And then when I... Uh, 2010, I got my first DSLR, and it was a Pentax. And then I got a Pentax K7. Awesome mm. camera. Lovely. Crop sensor, but beautiful. <laughs> great, great camera. Then from that, I got the D200. And then from there, there was a certain gentleman online called Mike Brown. He does a lot of teaching. Fantastic guy. Yeah. And um, he had D, D300Ss, two of them. And I got a D300S Nikon. And then from there, I thought, right, I've got, I've really got to go full frame. Why? Right. Because of the quality. People say, why have you gone from cross? Because shit hard. That's why. Wildlife. Don't get me wrong. When I was out up Marty Mere or certain birding places with the, the big lens on, the crop sense is amazing and the speed mm. as well and everything. But it wasn't my passion. It wasn't what I was really wanting to do. I knew landscapes were the way I was going. So I went for the yeah. D7, D750 full frame. And I've had that camera now for about three years. Uh, just to add as well, all my lenses, all my cameras were all second hand. Saved mm. a fortune. And yeah. uh, then this year I went, meh, meh. I thought, right. I've got it. some gas. <laughs> gas is getting me. <laughs> me. Me brain went, I could hear Dodd going, gas, get, get that camera, you fecker. Get it. <laughs> get the fucking camera. And it was a Z7. And. Nice. I, oh, man. I'll buy a Mikey went, Oh, look at that. Look at them. They're on Ted. Mikey got it first, so. If he's kind, I'll put Mikey's shot, put it and compare it against man. Man will always be better. He's using these mirrorless things. What a camera. Filming on it, it now. It is a nice camera. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty epic. I've, I've seen it in action uh, yeah. and it doesn't disappoint, I have to say. Yeah. The, the just People say it's not about the gear, but I yeah, have noticed. Who I'm said not, that? They, they Who do. said that? They do. They Wash do. your mouth out with soap. <laughs> You're talking shit. <laughs> you ain't getting on no plane, fool. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but moving on. You are like a white Mr. T now that I think of it. <laughs> I don't like heights neither. You know, drink this warm milk. Yeah, that's how oh, I get up a mountain. That's how I got up my last mountain near brilliant, enough. Brilliant. Off, off my tits for get up there. Go on, dog. Go on, man. Go on. <laughs> All right, so two last questions, Jim. Okay, what's cool. next for Mally Davies? Or Ooh. Davis. Is it Davies or Davis? Sorry. Davis. Da it's Davis. spelled the Welsh word, Davies. 
I E S, but but I it's Davis. It's okay. Well, spell Whatever. it the right way, so will you? Jesus, mother of God. My, my name's Malcolm. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta call you Malcolm from now on. Malcolm! <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but it is. <laughs> oh, God, it's brilliant. Oh, God. That's Mally. hilarious. I've always been Mally. Everyone's always called me Mally, but my actual name's Malcolm. <laughs> oh. Go on, Malcolm. All... Do go I look on, like, go come on, it. do I look like a Malcolm? No, I just don't do it. So, uh, Mally, Mally oh. stuck. And it, and right, it was. Malcolm, and it, what's next for you? <laughs> uh, do you know, I've thought about this so much lately. And at the moment, I think it's just every day as it comes and keep creating. The goal of this year is to. Hmm, I don't want to say move pro. But I want mm-hmm. to find a pathway, a route where it can become more obtainable. Where okay. I'm establishing myself mainly in... Um, I, I don't want to say the community because it's the wrong word, but an, all encompa- an all-encompassing... God, bloody, put my teeth in. All-encompassing <laughs> in photography and to have a okay. real strong brand by the end of this year that isn't just about my photography but it's about the community mm-hmm. brilliant i like it i like the sound Good. of it so um i live in ireland you live in england i have been over to you already so when are you coming to ireland to see me now oh. do take keep in mind we have covid and all that crack so i don't expect you over next week right but when are you coming over to see me and come here i'll even leave darren hang out with you for maybe an hour or two you know so <laughs> When are you coming over, buddy? Oh, I, I was supposed to be there in August or before mm. that, and uh, I've, I, I, as soon as. Seriously, I don't care what time of year. When we get green light, I'm at Liverpool and I'm on that ferry, and I'm Class. I'm coming. Yeah, or a flight. Get a flight in; it'll probably be easier and quicker. I'll pick you up in Shannon, man. I'm oh. telling you. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. And you can that stay here, man, for a couple of days and all. And tell me, ah, they invite that's us very here for kind. you. So. That's wonderful, that, because I've been mm. Ireland a couple of times long before uh, I knew you guys, and I went to Galway that way. I went to a place called, um, started in Inchico in Dublin, mm. and then went from there to, uh, oh, God, what was the name of the place? Claire Morris, mm. uh, West Coast. Not quite West Coast. And I just, oh, I, I nearly didn't come home because there was a bit of a it's hippie a then. Place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say no more because you might get yourself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right there. We did stay in a, an old caravan in a, in a farm. And I remember walking back from the pub one night and absolutely shit in my pants because there was like uh, the white ladies everywhere, isn't there? I know the, the f- white, not the white. Is it the white lady? The our lady? The the white, I don't know. the white uh, like uh, Murray. They were on every huh? corner. Yeah, yeah. In Claire Wait a Morris, second. What, the, what, 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 what were you on? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me you've not seen them. They must be every. Oh, I the only white were, things uh, I've seen is the White Walkers in the Game of Thrones. So I don't know uh, where you. The, the, the like sculptures of Murray and the baby, like religious sculptures on on street corners. All right, corner. okay, those things. All right, okay. Yeah. I don't know what you're on. Our, our Murray or white, the White Lady, we call it here. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Walking back from the pub one night, I was like, "Whoa, what the <laughs> bloody hell!" <laughs> <laughs> Any chance so, of a kiss, love? Oh, yeah. one, one. Oh, God, oh, God, I wouldn't be here, would I? I'd be burning. I'd be in flames. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was wonderful. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Maddie, come here. It's been absolutely hey. amazing talking Brilliant. to you. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Do you want to tell our listeners, our watchers, our viewers where they can find out more about Mally? Davis. Oh, that. Uh, Ma- Malcolm Davis. Mally Davis. <laughs> Malcolm <Good> Davis. <laughs> Malcolm Davis. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on my own website and everything stems out from there so mallyphotography.co.uk and I'm also on YouTube Epic. as Mally, Mally Davis Photography or Mally Photography you can search for both on YouTube get on YouTube I've got a lot of videos and I'm coming up to my 100th video can you believe that I'm only, get, I'm only just getting to my 100th after 3 years of vlogging 
Congratulations. Oh, excuse me. Congratulations, buddy. That's actually quite an achievement. To be honest, yeah. I have no idea what I'm on. Um, I'm not as far as, I'm not as big as you, but hopefully someday I'll, I'll catch up to you. Who knows? Ah, I'm no biggie. I'm just uh, a little man from a little town. Little village. Or for town, same difference. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you very much. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we are back with a bang for the one-to-one -one series. And next week we should have on Raphael Ludwig. Well, it might be on next week. It will probably be on the week before. And this dude is absolutely insane. You really need to tune into this. If you want to learn about color grading and all that crack, apples, max, Everything, Apple and Max, aren't they the same thing? They are for sure. If you've got any questions for me or Malcolm Davis, please I... do stick them in the comments below and give us a thumbs up, a like, and all that crack. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, have a nice day. Hey, yo! Sydney!